Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about the LG Stylo 4 versus the LG Stylo 5 and a little bit of the Moto G Stylus. Now, this video is specifically for people who have the LG Stylo uh, 4 right here. And maybe you're looking at a new phone right now. You may have had the LG Stylo 4 and you may not have all the money to buy phones um, all the time. You might just want some of the basic features that some of these phones do have to offer. Now, the LG Stylo 4 has a lot of cool features that the LG Stylo 5 doesn't even have to offer. Um, now, we're going to get into that in a little bit. But one of the main th differences that I did notice about the LG Stylo 4 compared to the uh, 5 was overall build. Now, um, if you compare both of these phones and just look at them directly, you might notice extra um, bulk on the LG Stylo 5. It's a little bit chunkier. It has a uh, slightly bigger battery, but um, as they progress and make these phones, they seem to get more and more chunkier. I remember how thin the LG Stylo 3 Plus was, and then I got the Stylo 4. I was like, okay, that's like a perfect uh, slimness and now they're actually making it a little bit thicker more and more and then the LG Stylo 6 is actually going to be even more thicker if you're looking for that phone which will be coming to Metro by, by T-Mobile in like June uh, but like right now these two three phones that I have in my hand are really good options you're going to notice a bigger uh, width when it comes to the, uh, the Stylo 5 and it's about the same chunkiness as the G Stylo, when I compare them, they have um, really similar widths. The LG Stylo 5 is a little bit taller, but um, they're gonna, that all screen display that you're getting on the uh, Moto G Stylo is actually uh, really, really beautiful. You're getting a lot of screen real estate. And um, there's actually some things that, some reasons why I would actually prefer the LG Stylo 4 over the LG Stylo 5, and we're gonna talk about that right now. The two things that I like more about the LG Stylo 4 than the LG Stylo 5 is the fact that when you go into the camera on the LG Stylo 5, and if you go ahead, flip the camera around to your face, and you're gonna see you have the wide angle, and you do also have the option for single mode. Now, as soon as you hit the option to go to the wide mode you can get that option which is cool and then when you switch it back you can get that option now as soon as you hit the record button though, though that option to remove to actually uh, switch between both cameras is actually gone and um, you don't you can't toggle between both now on the LG Stylo 4 when you're actually on the front facing selfie camera and you you could see you have those those similar options you could see right here and then let's just hit that record button um you still get that option right here to sync go change in and out right here i'm able to change that while i'm recording and then i don't have to worry about uh not having um the ability to switch in between my different modes you could see while i'm recording i'm able to simultaneously switch in between cameras on the LG Stylo uh, 4, which is actually an excellent feature that they implemented on it. Uh, I'm not quite sure why the LG Stylo 5 didn't get that same feature where once you hit record on the, the camera, that, that that feature right there on the side, is not it's not there anymore. And you, there's no way to get that feature back on the LG Stylo 5. So I was a little bit bummed now they did add the AI camera on the LG Stylo, uh, pretty much the LG Stylo 5, which is going to basically give you a uh, better color science. The phone is going to have a smarter uh, intelligence when it comes to certain colors, and it's going to add a little bit of um, brighter, uh, deeper saturation and um, even some like different color tones with that AI technology. So with the AI technologies that are in the cameras on the LG Stylo uh, 5. It's a little bit more smarter in that sense that you got the AI camera. And um, it's not going to be like a big difference, actually. But it's actually pretty cool that you have that feature. 
Now, one of the other thing that's, that's pretty cool about the LG Stylo 4 over the LG Stylo 5 is the fact that the LG Stylo 4 has adaptable storage uh, for the SD card. So basically what that means is that when you're using the LG Stylo uh, 4 and you have, if you want to actually take some of these apps, which I do have here, such as um, some games, and um, all you have to do is take your SIM card tool, the one that comes in the box that looks like a pin, and put it in the inside of your phone, pull that out. And um, when you put that, the card in there, you can transfer some of those files to your SD card. Now, with the LG Stylo 5, they don't give you that option to do so, which is uh, kind of weird, but that's pretty much the main differences of these phones. This one's a little bit thicker overall. They have the pretty much the same exact bezels, same screen um, quality, same processor, uh, identical cameras as well. I do have a skin on this one right here, which is a little bit more customized. I did add some of my own icons to it just to customize it and make it a little bit more different from the rest of uh, the phones you see. but. That's actually the best thing about Android. If you don't like the LG skin right here that you do see, you can remove it and put your own skin on there. So I think that's actually pretty cool about both of these things is that they're customizable and you can do that. Now, as far as the 13 megapixel cameras, they're identical. And one of the things about the LG Stylo 4 and 5 is that they do scratch a bit. So uh, there's gonna be some tiny scratches if you take a really hard look at it if you just look at it really closely uh, quickly you won't be able to see them so I did put a skin on here a skinami skin I can leave a link down below for uh, some skins you can get for both phones if you want to actually customize them and put a skin on here but I'm not it's not sponsored or anything uh, it's just the Amazon link so I'll put that down below but as far as the cameras I definitely prefer the LG Stylo for give you two different modes now they both have that facial recognition. Now I have a completely different hairstyle right now and I haven't used this one in a long time. So the facial recognition is actually working on here as well, as you can see. And this one also does have facial recognition. Now, if you get the Moto G stylus and you want to do uh, facial recognition on this phone, you won't have that option on the Moto G stylus. This phone only has the fingerprint, which is located right here, and it has that Moto uh, emblem right there in the fingerprint, and you get the triple camera. So you're getting a 13 megapixel, uh, an eight megapixel, and a two megapixel camera. Now, this does have uh, an upgraded chipset from what the LG Stylo 4 and 5 have. Those have the Snapdragon, uh, 450 processor which is pretty much about two and a half years old right now so it's roughly about three years uh, old right now but with the snapdragon 665 chip it's actually a lot quicker you can actually navigate really fast and multitask with this thing really fast so you don't really have to worry about too many hiccups with it you're also getting that feature right here which is located at the bottom which is the stylus feature which will give you the option to take quick notes and you can actually just save those at any given time and I think that's really cool because it's a really a really good convenience tool that is on these phones now as far as other things you can also sketch you can download uh, a couple of different apps that I would recommend I can make a separate video on that if you want to see that but one of my favorite ones is Autodesk sketchbook uh, but I pretty much have every app that I could possibly think of installed on here with 128 gigabytes of internal storage on this phone. You pretty much don't need to have an SD card. If you even had one, you re wouldn't really need to use it unless you're filming a ton of videos or downloading games all the time, music all the time. Maybe you have infinite music downloaded to your phone, but you could always put that on an SD card, which is really cool. So my favorite thing about this device is the storage and the triple camera setup as well as the display with the punch hole camera and the battery life as well they did a really good job with the overall design and putting all together all these features on this phone and so it's definitely an upgrade from 
the LG Stylo 4 and the 5. If you were looking to get those two phones, it would be a really good upgrade. Just make sure you save up your money and get, you know, the, uh, the Moto G Stylus if you have the money. But if you have the LG Stylo 4, I would probably, you know, look toward getting the Moto G Stylus. But that's just my recommendation uh, versus the LG Stylo 6. Now, in, re in regards to the LG Stylo 6, which was just released, uh, that phone has been out and it's a lot bigger. It has a 6.8 inch display and a, a Helio Media, MediaTek Helio P35 chipset, which is going to be a lot different than Snapdragon. It may be a little quicker than the Snapdragon 450, but as far as the Snapdragon 665 compared to the P35, I would definitely go with the Snapdragon 665. And I think the cameras are a lot better with the 48 megapixel versus the 13 megapixel on the LG Stylo 6. So I will hopefully be picking that up when it is introduced to Cricut or T-Mobile. But thank you guys for staying locked in with me. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the bell icon and check you guys later. But in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending on where you are, have a great night. Peace.